everybody, it's Belinda. In this video, we're gonna talk about four steps you must take during your video interview. That's right, four steps that you must take during your video interview. So, step number one, prepare for glitches. That's right, you're in the middle of the interview, your camera goes off. You're in the middle of you. You are in the middle of the interview. Your Wi-Fi goes out. What do you do? You'll know what to do because you would have already prepared. When you get on the call with the recruiter or the HR representative, the first thing you should ask them is, "What do you want me to do, or should we do if we lose connection?" That shows that you're already thinking, that you're prepared, because they may say, we'll try to sign on again, or we'll try a different link. They'll give you some suggestions, but you want to know that. You want to ask that because in this day and age, anything can happen. The power can go off and knock Wi-Fi out, or knock your router out, knock your internet out. Then what? What do you do? You're, you're in panic mode because there's no plan. So you want to prepare for glitches. Again, when you first get on the call, ask them, what do we do? What do you want me to do if the we lose connection? And let them tell you what will happen. Step number two, you want to make eye contact. I talked about this in a previous video, but you want to make eye contact. And how you make eye contact with the recruiter or HR professional is that when you're talking, you are looking at the camera. So when they're asking you about yourself, tell me about your strengths. Tell me about your weaknesses. When you answer with confidence, you're looking in the camera. Look in the camera and give it your best answer. When they are talking to you, you can look at the screen. So talking to them, you're looking at the camera. You're smiling. You're giving them your best answer. When they're talking to you or um, telling you about questions or comments, look at the screen. Camera screen camera when you're talking screen when they're talking tip number three monitor your facial expressions so a lot of people what they say is talk with their face so if they hear something that they don't like you can read it on their face if you hear something they, that they do like you can read it on their face you want to monitor that because you may hear something that you don't like if they're talking about the pay, you may not like that. And you may show that in your facial expression. That doesn't mean that that's the pay, the end all, the amount they gave you. But sometimes they're just testing you to see your facial expression. So you want to make sure that you monitor your facial expression. That you are smiling again. You're smiling in the interview. Now, you don't just sit there and smile the whole time because unless you're going out for a clown position. But you want to smile. Be um, friendly, appear to be approachable, especially in an interview. You want to make sure that you are approachable. So you want to smile and listen, make sure that you understand what's being said, um, monitor your facial expressions and let your facial expressions match your, your, qu the questions and what you're saying. So if you're happy, you don't want your facial expression to come off like you're angry. So make sure you're monitoring your facial expression. When you think about it, when you're in the interview, you know, just, you know, smile, give a life, give a, you know, smile to make sure that you're not just sitting with the um, angry face or grimace face, even though that's not our intent. Because a lot of times, you know, you're paying attention. So you're trying to pay attention to what they're saying. And your facial expression may be kind of like a, or that's not your intent. You know, you just, that's just how you maybe how you look when you're listening. So you want to make sure that you are monitoring that and that you're paying, playing, paying close attention to your facial expression. For tip number four, before we go to tip number four, I want to invite, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, that way when new videos come out, you can See when they come out, you'll be alerted. Subscribe and hit the alert button. So that way when new videos come out, which we're trying to give out a new video as often as we can. So 
Um, you want to make sure that you are there and present so you can get this good information so that when you're looking for a job, you scroll through the titles and see which one you feel like benefits you and you can listen to it. And that way, when you go on that job interview or when you're completing your resume or if you have just an HR question, you can hit play and there you go. It'll give you the information that you're looking for. So now, hey, everybody, it's Belinda. I just wanted to come in and say, get your 90 days to employment journal today. If you're looking for a job or you know somebody who's looking for a job, get your 90 days to employment journal and get on the path of getting employment. Back to your video. Step Number four is work on your closing, period. Just like you would do if you were face-to-face. -face. When your interview, usually when the interview's over, the person will always ask, they always ask, do you have any questions for me? That's the time to answer any questions and then reiterate why you should be selected for the candidacy. So you want to make sure that your closing is list all of the things that you can bring. You know, list all, list how excited you are for this opportunity. That you, how you would love to work with this organization. Have a good closing. In your closing, remember to thank them for their time. A lot of people miss that. Thank the person for their time, taking time out to interview you. Let them know that you look forward to hearing from you on the next steps. So you want to, you know, Back in the day, you would have that's the time that you would shake their hand on the way out. But with COVID, a lot of people aren't shaking hands, so I'm not saying shake their hand, especially on a video, you can't really shake their hand. But you can say, you can definitely say why you want to work there, why they should hire you. That's your closing. Why they should hire you, what you can bring. You look forward to the next steps. You thank them for the opportunity. All of that. You want to make sure that you're doing all of that in your closing. So as a recap, let's go over the four steps again. Step number one, prepare for glitches. As soon as you get on the call, you want to say, before we get started, I just want to, I just want to touch base that what would you like me to do if we somehow lose connection? Do you want me to sign back on on the same link or send you an email and say I got logged off? Or you want to ask that question? Because that way, when the situation, if, not when, if the situation occurs, you won't be frazzled. You won't be, oh no, I missed this great opportunity. Now what? You will, you will know exactly what to do. So prepare for glitches. Number two, you want to make eye contact. Again, when you're talking, when you're answering the question, they've asked you a question and you're answering the question, you're looking at the camera. When they're talking to you, you're looking at the screen. When you're answering the question, you're looking at the camera. When they're talking to you, you're looking at the screen. So make sure that you are doing that, that you're giving eye contact. Three, step three, you want to monitor your facial expressions. Again, make sure that you're smiling, that you just don't have, you know, a grimace-like look on your face. You want to make sure that you are smiling. In the interview, you want to be appear to be approachable and friendly. So you want to make sure that you are smiling um, during the interview. Step number four, you want to work on your closing. Make sure that is the time that you are saying, oh, why they should hire you, what you can bring. Thank them for the opportunity. Tell them you're looking forward to the next steps. So those are the four steps that you want to take during a video interview. So this is during the interview. You want to make sure that you are taking those steps. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the alert so when new videos come out, you'll be the first to know. See you on the next video.